everyone, so I am finally doing my other Jeffree Star liquid lipstick swatch video. If you're wondering why I have them all stacked in a Kylie box, it's because I put them aside so I remembered to do this video because I've been promising it for months and I just kept putting it off because Jeffree Star kept releasing new colours and I was like, oh, I'll get them before I do the lip swatch video. And anyway, he just releases new colours left, right and centre and I can't keep up. So I've ended up with a ton of colours to swatch for you guys today. These ones that you can see behind me, I have already swatched before so I'll link the video down below. It's one of my most viewed lip swatch videos ever. It's got like 2 million views. So this lip swatch video has by far been the most requested lip swatch video ever in the history of people requesting me to do stuff. To be honest, it is the worst timing because I have dry winter lips right now, but the lighting is quite good today for a lip swatch video and I'm just taking advantage because I've put this off for too long and I'm pretty sure there are a few new shades at the moment, but I don't have them, so this is just happening. And I believe some of them were limited edition, so they may not be available anymore but I'll swatch them anyway. So I'm going to try and go in a somewhat logical order. So I'm going to start with the lighter shades and go up to the darker brighter shades. This one here is called Drug Lord and as you can see it is just a white colour. I personally don't wear this colour but it is perfect for Halloween. This colour can be a little bit tricky to work with. You need to kind of build it up a little bit because it is white. So you need to get a really nice even layer. Can't take myself seriously with this lip colour on. <laughs> there are definitely people out there that can pull off colours like this and I am not one of them. But regardless, that is Drug Lord. R.I.P. Lips. Next up, I'm going to do my favourite shade. This is I'm Nude. This is my go-to nude colour that I wear all the time. So that is how I'm Nude looks on the lips. They do dry down matte, of course. It is just the perfect kind of pinky nude on my skin tone, in my opinion. And it pretty much goes with any makeup look. So once again, that is I'm Nude. Next up, let's do Nude Beach. So that is how Nude Beach looks. It's a orange soda kind of nude. Very, very peachy. I actually really like it with this eye makeup. Next up, I'm going to do Mannequin. This colour goes on extra, extra smooth. This is a terrible application, but that's how Mannequin looks. I haven't actually worn this one much, and I really like it. It's a very brown-based nude. It's a little bit darker than I'm nude. I think it's really flattering, and I love it with the eye makeup once again. Any type of warm eye makeup, I think it'll look perfect. Once again, it's called Mannequin. Next up, let's do Daddy. I believe this is the one from the Manny MUA collab. Ooh, I've never actually tried this on before. So far, so good. So, Daddy is just a really dark nude brown colour. It's very neutral looking, I think. It is super flattering. I really like it. So, yeah, once again, that is called Daddy. I don't know if it's just me, but I really hate saying the word Daddy. Daddy. Not a fan. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to throw a colourful one in here because it is a very light colour. This is Queen Bee. I think this is one of the ones where you're supposed to put it in the fridge and shake it up because it is such a bright light colour. It can look a little bit streaky. Ignoring that, the colour is really fun. It's not really the kind of thing I would wear personally, but for a special occasion, Halloween maybe, I don't know. If you like to rock this kind of colour, all the power to you. Once again, that is called Queen Bee. My lips are literally starting to bleed. Next up is another one of those very like white based pale creamy colours. This is Virginity. This one's definitely going on a lot better than the yellow and the white. I actually really like this colour. I don't know if it's wearable, but I would definitely wear it. It's quite unique. It's like a pale, pale lilac pink. I think it's really pretty. I would totally wear this. So yeah, once again, it is called Virginity. Makes your teeth look a little bit yellow, but not too bad. Next up, I'm doing Sagittarius. This is a purpley kind of morph colour. This colour goes on so, so evenly, and that is how it looks. This colour is so beautiful and actually really wearable as well. So once again, that is called Sagittarius. I think this is so pretty. Next up is Scorpio, which is a little bit darker than Sagittarius. So that's how Scorpio looks. This is such a beautiful colour as well. Maybe with some different eye makeup. I would wear this with a really cool toned smoky eye with some taupes and even a little bit of purple or something. It would look super cool. Or just a really natural eye look with lots of lashes. So once again, that is called Scorpio. Next up, I'm going to do Deceased, which is another similar shade. I think this is a little bit lighter than Scorpio, maybe a little bit pinker. 
not like pink pink but less gray Okay, I've never actually worn this before, but this is another favorite. This is so flattering. It's super vampy, really sexy, just like a really deep mauve kind of color. It's very unique. It's like grayish, purplish, pinkish, mauveish. It's so, so unique. This once again, it's called Deceased. It is very similar to Sagittarius, but Sagittarius, which is the bottom one, as you can see, is a little bit more purpley. Next up, I'm going to do the shade Androgyny. So that is androgyny. As you can see, it's got a little bit more of a berry kind of undertone. It is so beautiful. I even love it with this eye makeup. Perfect, like, fall makeup right here. So pretty. Once again, that is androgyny. It is much warmer than the previous shades. Next up, let's do Rose Matter. This is a pinky color. It's a very wearable pink. So that is Rose Matter, the perfect everyday pinky color. It's quite muted. It's really beautiful. So pretty with this eye makeup as well. It's almost like a slightly peachy pink, like a warm pink, but muted. Once again, that is called Rose Matter. Next up, we have Gemini, which is a similar color to Rose Matter, but a little bit more nude. A little bit darker as well, I think. So that is Gemini. This would look incredible on dark skin tones. It's just like a deep peachy brown neutral color. I'm terrible at this sometimes, I swear. But anyway, it's pretty and it's called Gemini. Next up is the shade Leo. My star sign. Terrible application, but that is Leo. It is the most beautiful medium brown shade. I am obsessed with this. I need to wear this more often. It's quite warm as well. Definitely a fan. Once again, that is called Leo. Next up, I'm going to do Doll Parts. This is another pink, a very, very cool pink. So that is how Doll Parts looks. Doll Parts looks. It's a very muted, cool tone, pinky color. It's got like a hint of mauve in it, but it's definitely a pink. I think it looks really pretty with the warm eye makeup as well. So once again, that is called Doll Parts. Next up, I'm going to do I'm Shook. This is a really beautiful, kind of warm, pinky, peachy, deeper color. So there we have I'm Shook. This is actually a really unique color as well. It's somewhere in between like a red, a peach, a pink. Like it's quite a deep color, it's quite muted. I feel like this would look absolutely perfect on someone with super porcelain skin. It would look really like captivating, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> that's I'm Shook. Next up, let's do Watermelon Soda. This color is so fun, it is definitely a watermelon pink. So that is watermelon soda, super bright, super vibrant, just the perfect kind of warm pink color. Once again, it's called watermelon soda. Next up, let's do Dream House, which is a kind of metallic color. If I show you up close, it's got a little bit of a shimmer through. I don't often wear metallic colors, but this one is really beautiful. It's quite a Barbie kind of pink. So that is Dream House on my lips. It's quite fun for summer or like a party or something like that. Very, very Barbie. <laughs> Once again, it's called Dream House. Next up is another really, really, really bright pink. How do you even say this? Messagist? Messagist? I don't know. Ooh, I've never actually tried this one on before and it's really thick. Maybe it's just not mixed up proper. Okay, no, this one is like so thick. I don't know if this is faulty or if this is actually what the color does. I think this might be a faulty one. It feels so thick. None of my others are like this. But anyway, that's how the color looks. It's a really pretty color. It's a really deep berry kind of hot pink. You guys can see for yourself. It's pretty. I just don't think I will get much wear out of this because it does not seem to perform properly. <laughs> Next up is a kind of orangey bronzy shade. This is called Pussy Whipped. And once again, this is more of a metallic shimmery kind of finish. This reminds me so much of that Kylie Jenner color. I can't remember what it was called, but you know the one. It actually looks quite cool with this eye makeup. <laughs> Once again, that is called Pussy Whipped. Next up is Flamethrower. I've never actually worn this, and I'm so excited because this looks legit. I love orange. This is so 
beautiful. This will look amazing on so many different skin tones as well. People are always so scared to go for orange, but honestly, it is one of my favorite colors to wear. It is so flattering and one of the colors I get the most compliments on. So check out an orange if you have not got one already. This one here is once again called Th Fl Fl Flamethrower. If you haven't already, please thumbs up this video. Thumbs up for the pain. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for this one too. This is Pumpkin Pie. This is a more muted, deeper, orangey shade. It looks like it has a little bit of a shimmer through it too. If you look really, really closely. I don't even know if you guys will be able to see. You can kind of see it. It's a very subtle shimmer. You can't seem to see it on the lip. It's just like in the tube. I don't know. Am I seeing things? There's my terracotta color. <laughs> I love these warm, rusty orange colors so much. If you guys watch my lip swatch videos, you know that. <laughs> so yeah, this is like a terracotta kind of orangey, browny color. Once again, it's called pumpkin pie. Next up, we have Checkmate. This looks like a kind of orangey red color. That's so pretty. Super vibrant, so pretty. This is definitely a must have. How pretty is that? That looks so nice with the warm eye makeup as well. And I think any skin tone could pull this off. Once again, it's called Checkmate. Next up, I'm going to do Rich Blood. This has a very slight kind of sheen to it too, like Pumpkin Pie did, except this one's like a pinky kind of sheen. It's very hard to tell. You can kind of see the shimmer better once it's on. This formula, again, is very dry. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or if I've got a dud or what. It's not as dry as the other one, but yeah, it's not as liquidy as normal. But we got there in the end. Okay, so that there is Rich Blood. Not the best application. I would probably need to use a lip liner with this one because it's quite dry, so I can't get a nice crisp line. But the actual color itself is so stunning. This is like the perfect Christmas color. Super festive and it makes my teeth look so ridiculously white. Once again, that's called Rich Blood. Next up is Designer Blood. This is like in between a brown and a deep red. And this, <laughs> I love it. The application is terrible, but can we appreciate how amazing this looks? I love it, and I love it with this eye makeup so much. Oh my god, this is a favorite for sure. Is it Unicorn Blood, that other dark red that Jeffree has? That is one of my favorite colors of all time. Designer Blood, new fave. By the way, any that I'm not swatching in this video, check the other video in the down bar. Because in that one, I swatched heaps of those ones in the background, like I said in the beginning. Like Unicorn Blood. Unicorn Blood is swatched in the other video. Oh, I forgot to tell you what this one's called. <laughs> this is called Ho Ho Ho. I was too busy listening to my music in the background. I started daydreaming. Once again, this color seems to be very thick. If I compare this to Rich Blood, it is a little bit more muted, I would say. Ho 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 is on the top and Rich Blood is on the bottom, but they are so freaking similar. So that is how Ho 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 looks. It's a little bit shimmery as well. Next up, we have No Tea No Shade. This is another kind of metallic color and it's like a purpley color. Oh, that formula is to die for. This one's so pigmented. This is very unique. It's very vampy. It actually looks quite cool with this eye makeup as well. So yeah, once again, that is no tea, no shade. I'm not sure if I would really wear this that often personally, but I definitely can appreciate the color. It's cool. Next up, we have Dominatrix. This is a personal favorite of mine. It is a super, super dark brown. So that is Dominatrix. This is just such a sexy color. I love it with warm eye makeup like what I'm wearing today. It is just such a beautiful shade. So yeah, once again, Dominatrix. I have, no joke, gone through an entire packet of these, removing these. There are just so many colors. We are onto our last four and they are all greens, which I know, green, but they're actually really cool. So the first one I have here is at Breakfast at Tiffany's. This is like kind of like a blue, really. It's like a Tiffany blue. You cannot deny that it is eye-catching. So yeah, once again, that is called Breakfast at Tiffany's. Definitely not the kind of color I would personally go for on a day-to-day -day basis. But again, if you like to rock this kind of color, all the power to you. For me, this is something I'd probably wear on Halloween or something like that. It is so ridiculously bright, like, holy crap. Next up, let's do Dirty Money. I am obsessed with this color. It's basically like that kind of money green color, like a khaki light pastel green. I am obsessed with this shade. It's not something I would necessarily wear all the time, but it's just super cool. In terms of color, it is probably one of the most wearable weird colors, you know what I mean? I love it so much. It's such a cool color. So yeah, once again, that is called Dirty Money. I don't even want to take this off right now. I'm so obsessed with it. Next up is kind of like a darker version. It's quite a dull green and it's called Crocodile Tears. 
like Peter Pan. <laughs> as far as greens go, it is so wearable. It looks really cool with this kind of eye makeup. I think out of any strange color, like, you know, these kind of greens are the most wearable. For me anyway, I just think they're easy enough to pair up with a really warm smoky eye. They pack a punch. They are bold. They are a statement, but they're quite cool. So once again, that is Crocodile Tears. The last shade we have here is Mistletoe. This is a little bit brighter than the previous color. So there we have Mistletoe and that is the final shade. Quite a cool green as well. It's definitely more of a like colorful green if that makes sense. Like it's a lot brighter. The previous two are definitely more wearable. But this is such a cool color as well. I think I am a secret fan of green lipstick. I think just with like bronzer and stuff it's just easier to wear. So that completes my lip swatch video for the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipsticks. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. I can't believe how many requests I received to do this video. So thank you for requesting it. Let me know what your favorite color is down below. I'd love to hear from you and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!